Hi and welcome to this Unity Blender tutorial. My name is Michael Novello from BlenderSource.com and today I'm going to show you how you can create a low poly terrain like this here um, based on the terrain script of Unity. So at first, as you can see, I have here a terrain and it's really low poly. And let's get rid of this and I show you that it is based on a terrain which is made in unity this is a terrain here and as you can see i have all the terrain uh, modifiers tools and so on for that terrain here and the problem is that in unity the terrain script is based on height map it means you are not modeling here you are going to you are painting here on a grayscale image and unity is converting this into some geometry it's doing that really quick so it feels like modeling but in yeah for real you are going you are painting on a height map and this is the reason because uh, that you have only smooth landscapes and you cannot create this edgy low poly look like you have seen before so Let's create here really fast a uh, low poly terrain. It's really easy to do. What you need is you need a folder called editor, uh, like this, this one here. And let's get rid of the script here real quick. So I'm going to delete that. Delete that. This script is what we need. So at first create in your root directory an folder called editor and in this folder create a new C script C sharp script and on the on this website here it's called it's the wiki um, of unity 3d you can find a script it's called export terrain and we need the C sharp version of that and can we rename that um now let's let's really quick delete that again just to show you the way so create c script pasting in the name and it has to be that name it is case sensitive so please be aware that you have to pay attention to the case sensitivity okay so let's open that script here, or yeah, the, the empty file. And in the meantime, let's go to website again, and let's copy the whole script here, from the beginning to the end. And don't miss this. Um, don't miss anything. So be sure you have selected all of this. Go back to the uh, Visual Studio editor, and now let's select all the all the text here in the in the script and copy it into that file. So it's all overwritten and copied. So we can now save that file and we can close the editor. And we're going back to the Unity. And now Unity is compiling the script because from my understanding, all what is in the editor directory will be compiled to provide you some tools in Unity. And here we can see it has created a new menu item. It's called Terrain and a new menu uh, sub-item export to OBJ. And that is what we want. So I'm going to select the Terrain, go to Terrain, export to OBJ, and we want to create uh, an export as export format the uh, triangles we can use quads but i want to have triangles and the resolution we can go with a half resolution you can go with a full resolution but this is not necessary we can go for a half or quarter even a quarter will work for our um creating of the terrain here so i'm going to export that and i'm have exported it before so I'm going to export this as terrain one and save it. And I want to replace it. Yes. And now it's exporting it. 
conver it converts the height map or this this model here into an OBJ file. Now, now we can go to Blender and go to Import OBJ, and I select I select this Terrain One OBJ and Import OBJ. So it takes a moment, and now we have somewhere. Hello, Terrain, where you are? Ah. Okay, there it is. There it is. It's way, way up. So um, you have to find it. <laughs> Say it like that. Okay, now let's go into the edit mode and let's move it down just to the to the pivot point. Let's grab it and move it down wherever it is right now. Um, yeah, this. A little bit of problem here. Um, well, let's go in that. Let's go to the side view again and let's move it over. This is a little bit a problem, I think, of the script uh, because the pivot point is way off. So now, yeah. That's okay, I can live with that. So I'm zooming in. And the first step uh, I want to do is add a modifier. So let's add displace modifier and create a new texture and go to into the textures. And I want to have a cloud texture here. And the, ba the basis, base will be um, cell noise. And as you can see now, uh, it's this helps us to create this low poly look here and I want to scale it up just a little bit like I like that this is okay so going back to the modifiers and add another modifier in this case uh, decimate modifier and I'm going with a ratio of 0.1 and as you can see now, we have a really good looking low poly terrain. And it depends on the size, how uh, big you want to have your landscape. Maybe you should go with 0 0.4 or 0 0.3, whatever helps to get the right size. So this, this time I'm going to use 0.3. So it is a little bit more as a uh, higher resolution and yeah it's cool so I'm going now to apply the modifiers at first the displacement modifier and then the decimate modifier and yeah it looks really cool and now I'm going to file export FBX and I'm going to save it into my asset folder where I have saved my asset and I'm going this time with terrain number two and be aware that you have to check this checker here selected objects only so export that and let's go back to unity and let's get rid of the high resolution um, terrain here and in the models we have now the terrain two and we can put it in and as you can see now we have a beautiful low poly landscape which you can use in your gamer set or in your low poly game okay that's it this is how you export uh, unity terrain to blender convert it in a low poly and export it back into uh, unity 3d and now you have maybe the problem that you can now not anymore distribute any objects like trees or grass on the on the mesh here because it's a mesh it's not longer a terrain and to now work around is that uh, i have here i have bought a tool called mesh brush and this tool provides me the features features 
um, that I can again distribute or paint in any object I want onto the mesh so that I can distribute my trees, my, um, as you can see, you can uh, distribute trees, uh, stones, all kind of stuff here. And yeah, and it's only about $10 and it's really worth the money. So thanks for watching and I see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.